Hi, this is one of my classes from lockdown. It's not 4K, but the yoga is awesome. Enjoy! And, um, and then we see how we go on, right? I'm going to take my watch there. Okay, good. It's nice to see you all. So bring your feet together to the beginning of the mat. Maybe you just stretch a little from the beginning. Stretch up. I think everyone who's there is in the morning. Yes, we're no, no international today. So just stretch it. And a little bit forward, maybe again. And then you try and wriggle your shoulder blades. Stretch one more time. Your hands are interlaced and palms up. Stretch. Lean back and slowly pull your belly to your spine. Maybe bend your knees if you're a beginner, definitely. Otherwise, you can already go for it more stretched out legs it's your decision really and just lean forward stretch forward and push if you have a wall um, close to you you you're always allowed also to just push against the wall for a moment and just really get the shoulder blades to come out and forward active in your arms for just a moment relax your neck to a certain degree, you don't have to drop it completely, but you don't have to be stressed in it. And then slowly lower your hands. Maybe you have to bend your knees all the way <laughs> for some of you, right? And then exhale, come closer to your knees. Just This is just a real, just a discovery. How are you today, okay? You know, just up and right leg back. So the heel is up in the air. You're trying to straighten the back leg, your chest up and forward, shoulders away from your ears, and breathe. Bisschen tiefer die Hüfte, genau, aber schön durch die Ferse durch. And you want to push your heel back and you want to lift your chest. Very nice. Just keep breathing into your right hip flexor. Should be a stretching sensation. And left foot back. Now you just stay here. For the beginners, just uh, be aware. I'm going to be all, um, a lot on my fist. This is not what you do. You, you can just bring your hands down and fingers forward, okay? <clears throat> Push through your shoulder blades. Relax your neck. Shoulders away from the ears. And stay here for a little moment. Pull your belly to your spine. Try not to hang through or push the butt up. Just Somewhat one line with a little round top in the shoulders. Super. Now, deine Hände sind, glaube ich, a bisschen zu eng. Mach dir Platz ruhig. Exhale, slowly lower down. Keep the chest forward, stay straight. This is exhausting. If you're a beginner, you don't want to touch the floor. You only hands and feet. This might be a little um, unusual for you. Inhale, chest up. There we go. Now you're going to straighten those legs. You can flip the feet and chest forward. Relax the neck. You can look forward or back, whichever you like. Very good posture for you. And then push back. There's a lot of strength in these poses that we always brush through. So I like to take it easy in the beginning and take some time because it actually gets exhausting if you. If you do that, <laughs> push your heels down, relax your neck. Try and get your sitting bones up to the ceiling more. Belly to your spine. Yeah, that's it, better. And then hang right leg forward. Let's just stretch the left side. Left hip. Push your left heel back. Straighten the leg. Relax your neck. Beautiful. Now try and really feel it in your left hip flexor. We're going to go a little deeper in the second set. And you can choose how far you go, okay? Straight. <clears throat> and left foot forward. Stretch your chest. Exhale. Lower down. If you're ever going to keep your knees bent, inhale, come up. Arms up, stretch up, and arms up. 
Very nice. Okay, let's do a second round. Switch up. And come forward. Inhale, chest up. Now we're going left foot back. So the same as before. And this time you can choose to either stay down here as a beginner or get a little higher, like a runner stretch. You want to pull your sacrum down, table down, chest up. Or bring your right hand to the side of your hip and stretch up and over. So make sure this is not a side angle pose. This is just, a, it's really a solo stretch. Bisschen weiter nach hinten. Muss wirklich rechts von der Hüfte sein, die vom Becken. Genau, und dann streckst du dich zur Seite, nicht nach, nicht nach vorne. It's a side bend in, uh, in a lunge position. You're doing great, just try and straighten the left leg if you can. Just slowly, very slowly. Yes, good. And slowly come back with your left hand. Internet is working wonderfully. Don't worry about it. <laughs> right foot back, belly in. Now stay here for a moment again. Make sure you're pushing against the floor. And why don't we come on our elbows and the forearm plank. Now, it's the same thing. You want to stay in a line, not the butt up, not the butt down, okay? And you're pushing through between your shoulder blades. So there's a little bit round there because that's activating much more your core. You want a core, <laughs> that's your own fault. Stay here for a little bit longer. I think the world record is four hours something. So I think we cannot stay four hours here, but maybe 10 more seconds. Just breathe, relax your neck. Don't stress out about it. It's just, it's just your body, you know. Your mind shouldn't be affected a bit, <laughs> okay? And then lower down, bring your hands back where your elbows were. Push up, so your legs are not touching the floor, and then push back. Back back, maybe walk a bit forward. You want to be in down dog. Push your sitting bones up, up, up to the ceiling. And your elbows down, out and down. So if you are looking for strength, you can always, you know, bend your elbows a little bit here. This is going to make you stronger. Whereas when you push the stretch out position, they will be more easy to hold. Okay, left foot forward, inhale. Now this is the same thing as the beginning. You can stand here. Or you can get your hands up here, like a runner stretch, pushing your heel back, keep the legs straight. Or if you're more advanced, you can bring your left hand to the outside of your left pelvis and bring your right arm up and bend to the side. Breathe, push your heel back. Looking good. Hmm. Push through the right heel. Yes. Put the right hand in the arm. Richtung Boden, genau. And then slowly come back. Bring your right foot forward. Shoot your chest. Exhale, slowly lower down. Let's try and go for a little fast forward bend. You want to bend your knees as much as you need to and grab your elbows. And then you get your butt back up. Tuck your chin in. Now, the first things you want to do, you want to touch your abdomen to your thighs, okay? So go down until you touch it. Then touch your chest to your knees. Eventually, you want to touch your face to your shins and stretch the elbows down more. More weight into your toes. Exhale your shoulders away from your ears. Just breathe, lean bit forward. If you're more advanced, please lock your knees. Locking the knees means pulling the kneecap up. It's more safe for your hamstrings, but if you're a beginner, it's hard to get in there from the beginning. Okay, get up there. Again, stretch up. Oh, no, I'm done. All right, let's do a little core salutation. You can kick your heel forward, lock the left knee, lock the right knee, 
If you're more advanced, you can even lift up your arms like that. Breathe. Für die Anfänger ruhig hier unten bleiben, genau. You can do this, don't worry. So the left leg should be straight, everyone. <laughs> and then slowly move it back. Bring your hands back to the hip or up, as you wish. Oh yeah, we can do a variation. Everyone's students can lift up the leg all the way. The others stay in a straight position and close up. Okay. If you want to go up more, wonderful. Open your chest and try and get the belly to your thigh while you lift the leg. Slowly step backwards. Now we're not trying to touch the floor anymore. Got it? It's a game. So bring your right knee down. The foot can be flat. Stretch a little forward. If you are a beginner, stay here and just get your chest up. Eventually, maybe your arms will come straight. And if you are more advanced, you can stretch your arms up and back. morning for me too <laughs> and then push your heels back and stretch your chest forward now listen in the, in the beginning it's probably that you're like somewhere here okay keep your spine up that's important lengthen your spine if you can go farther of course you can go but don't hurt yourself because you don't want to you, you want to do some more yoga you know bring your elbows up <laughs> get your chin forward get more advanced also bring your hands up like this, arms straight up, interlock fingers, just releasing the index. Good. And then we come forward. Lift up the right knee. Try not to touch the floor, right? Crossing your legs. Now we're going to sit with that, <clears throat> our hands, bring your legs up. For the beginners, you can bring your uh, shins parallel, but keep your knees together, get your chest up. And then very slowly, like you're moving through gel, super slow, go down, maybe even bring your hands next to your uh, arms, next to your ears, inhale, come back up, slow. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. A little slower. Yes, I want to see it. There we go. It's like jelly around you. Just up. That's okay. You can stay here like this all the time. Chest up, spine up. Yes. One more of the others. And back up. And cross our legs without your hands. You can do it. Go forward. Wonderful. Left leg. Lift up and kick. So, beginners, hands on your hips, chest up. Try and bring your elbows a little bit back so it's easier to keep the chest up. Or more advanced people, bring your arms up and breathe. Bisschen höher, du schaffst es. Come. Super. Dein rechtes Bein festmachen. Keep the right leg super locked. <laughs> I know it's sometimes a little hard when you're wobbling. And then slowly move back. Move so, please. Bring your hands as a beginner on the hips and push straight back. Elbows are up. Or in more advanced, open your arms. Ooh, it's hard for my foot. You do it perfectly, please. <laughs> and get your chest. Chest up while your belly goes down and the left foot goes up. Doing great. Bisschen höher die Brust. Bein strecken mehr. That's it. All right. And then we're stepping back. Doing great. Bring a knee down. This is probably already a, quite a hard stretch for some of you, you know. Just go as far as you can. As you feel still like you can breathe normal. That's the actually the, uh, the measurement. So chest up. As a beginner, you want to like maybe get the chest up until you can straighten your arms. My advanced people stretch your arms up and lean back, stretch back, I should say. Good. 
and then pull the butt and the hips back. And be aware that your spine is long in every posture. So and before it then you want to flex that foot and maybe you have to stay here. Maybe you can go further. Look what your body can do. <clears throat> if you're pulling the thigh, contracting the thigh and pulling the kneecap up, that is making the back of your legs safe. So that in this position, rather say straight spine. Yeah, you're doing good. Lift your chest up a little bit more and then you're good. Yeah, that's it. Wonderful. Down if you can, if you're already down there. Maybe bringing the arms up, like I said before, making it a bit easier to go intense. And then let's go forward on the right foot. Move up, left foot, um, left knee up, press the legs. Take no help of the arms. Yes, we're going to stay like this. You can even hold your leg, you know, and just get your chest up like that. Perfect. The others, please. Come down and throw the jelly. <laughs> Stay here. Wonderful. Arms up. Good. And come back. Now we're going to, we can not, um, get one notch higher even on this one. You stay here. Your hands behind your head. And get right leg up. And you move your left elbow to the outside. And you change your legs. Please go slow. Because everyone is going to tell you, go fast on abs. And <laughs> it's so much harder to do it slowly. Because then you're actually working in precision and mindfulness. This is where you get the muscles from. Not from mindless repetition. Got it? Okay, one more. And you're good. Right. And come back up. You hold this pose. Chest up. Yes, that's it. Okay. And the others come back up, or everyone comes back up. Very nice. Okay, let's do one more stretch. Up, arm up, and slowly come forward. I'm already sweating. So I hope you're working too. Chest up. <laughs> Jump a step backwards. Bring your knees down, chin down. There we go. You want to get eventually your chest down. If you're more advanced, you can bring your arms and hands forward, extend the child pose. Otherwise, stay with your hands under your shoulder. You can try and lift the chin, see if you can just be on your chest. This is warming up our back. It's a wonderful warm up for back bends. And then slowly pull back your hands. And lift your chest up to Urdhva Mukha Svanasana and slowly back. There we go. Okie dokie. Let's do a little shoulder warm up. Bring your elbows down. We do it sometimes, so some of you know it. Bring your elbows down at the same time. Now, this might be hard for you as a beginner, so bring your knees down as well if you need to. And just clasp your hands like this, all right? Got it? Like that. If you are more proficient, you could also stay like this, but let's just all go into this position and we're gonna see how far we get. So bring your hands together, push your elbows in, then get the butt back up. Push against the floor, because you wanna have a straight line, or actually, yeah, a diagonal between your butt and your elbows, got it? If you like this, that's not a line anymore. So push back. Bring your thumbs up. Now, those of you who are more advanced, you can lift up a leg. The beginners stay down with the feet. And you just come forward. Try and touch your chin to your thumbs. And then you go back again, okay? So more advanced people, please come forward with one leg up. So it's a little harder to move the body. This is three. For me, at least four. <laughs> come on, leg up. Five, six, you can do it. Seven, 
Okay, let's lower that right leg. Bring your knees down. Push your hands into the floor. Lift your chest. Then lift your shoulder blades and come down again like that. We're going to get the chin, chest, and knees on the floor. What last people just stretch your arms forward? Breathe. Low, slow flow. Very easy breathing. Very important to breathe through your nose, through asthma class. And then slowly bring your hands back under your shoulders. Push against the floor one more time. Push your back up. And then go down with your elbows where your hands were. Doing great, you can do it. Clasp your hands, interlock your fingers, just get the thumbs up, get the butt up, and shrink your legs. So from this position, please not like here, push against the floor, so you are back behind your elbows with the shoulders. I know this is already exhausting for most of you. And the advanced people get the left leg up, and then come forward. One, you can do it. Smile, it's easier. Two. You're doing a great. Come on. Keep going. Three. Four. Yes. Wonderful. Five. Beautiful. You can just stay there. That's fine too. Seven. And get your foot down. Okay. Knees down. <laughs> just get your hands where your elbows were. Stretch your arm down, chest up, exhale, push back. Feeling the chin to your chest. And then bring your chin and chest down to the ground. Again, advanced students, lengthen your arms forward. Maybe lift up your chin if you can. Looking good. Nice. Okay. Breathe, calm your breath. So nice. All right, bring your hands back where your shoulders are. Push against the floor. And one more time, push straight into downward facing down. Okay, now relax your neck, please. Maybe you got a little bit <laughs> stressed there. Let's just do a little leg warm up. Bring your right foot forward, left. Heel in. We're just going quickly through from yoga pose. So, or you want, stretch up. Sit low. Left leg straight. Try and pull the left he hip forward. It's hard, just so you know it, to do this posture really right. Missing teeth as it's in the shafts. Good now. And then open your arms and your hip to the side, one or two. Keep stretching your chest up. Lean back a little, breathe, and straighten the right leg, and stretch forward, and then down. If you cannot reach the floor, if you're a beginner, just bring your hand, back hand against your shin bone. Try not to lean onto your leg. Push against it, so you are creating opposing forces rather than just one force down, okay? Stretch your left arm up, up, up. Breathe, lengthen your, <clears throat> sorry, lengthen your spine from the hips towards uh, whatever is behind your head. In my case, it's a window. <laughs> and then slowly bring your left hand down. Pull your right hip back. Pull your belly in, right arm up. Just up, right hand up. Keep breathing. Hat den Schritt größer. Ja. There we go. Right shoulder up and open. To the sky. Very good. Okay. And then bring your right hand down again. Inhale, stretch your chest up. Now, as a beginner, maybe you want to stay here. Exhale, slowly lower down. A little bit. Um, eventually your chin will touch your shin. This doesn't have to happen today. 
Okay, probably won't. Flex your foot. And if you're more advanced, bring your hands into reverse namaskar and stay. Look at your big toe or your ankle bone. Breathe, lock the right knee, lock the left knee, pull your right hip back. Change. Move your weight into your right foot. I'm going to stay with your arms, with my arms like this. You can just lengthen your arms forward or grab your elbows wherever you are. It's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> Stretch your chest forward. Keep breathing. Wonderful. And then bring right hand down to the outside. So right underneath your shoulder, okay? And turn your left hip open. You may just keep your hand onto your left hip. Or you may lift it up. This is a little bit harder. If you're big enough, focus one spot on the floor, on the wall, on the side wall. And if you are more advanced, you want to try and look to the ceiling or to your thumb. Open your left shoulder a little bit more. Remember? I told you before. Yes, that looks better. And then grab the foot. If you're more advanced, you can kick up one more time. Breathe into your left hip. And turn back down, left hand down. Left knee into your right knee. Inhale up. Stretch up and come forward a little. One more time. Left knee to your right. Inhale, come up. Left knee to your right. Inhale up. Now straighten it if you can. Wonderful. So, for you, more importantly, to straighten this right leg. The other one, do whatever you can. But try and straighten this one. I know it's a bit hard for you, probably. Maybe you were somewhere here. Okay? Yes, you're doing great. Stretch down, touch your belly to your thigh. Keep stretching down more. If you're more advanced, you want to grab your ankle, maybe. And change. Okay. Good job. Bring your left knee to the outside of your right heel. Sit down, not on your heel, but beside it. Yeah, that's it. And then sit. Doing great. So now you're sitting not on the heel, but heel is really close to the butt. And the right foot is on the inside, on the outside, actually, of your left foot. Left knee. <laughs> Complete confusion. Okay, stretch your chest up. It doesn't matter anyway. You choose your, um, you choose your spine twist. So you can go easy like this, just holding your leg. Chest up and twist. Most importantly, inhale, chest up. You want to stretch the spine, make space, and then you want to twist to make some even more space. If you are more advanced, you can grab your knee or you can grab your foot even from the inside in the front. Chest up and twist. Maybe you want to hold your inner thigh. But for beginner, just hold your leg. It's fine. And touch the floor with the right hand. Stretch your chest and twist. One more time. And twist. Change. Wonderful. A little kind of twist. Ah, oh, so good. Okay. <laughs> it will feel good when we did it on the other side. <laughs> Bring your right foot back. Actually, we can go into a little thing that's called leg breaking. <laughs> so you can just, um, don't break a leg. So bring your both knees in one side. We're actually, if you just followed me, they should be kind of in one line now. And um, the heel is in the middle. So this is one line. You bring your whole weight forward into your hands. Yep, you can do it. There we go. And then bend your knee. And then maybe you can grab that foot. Okay. Now, for the beginners, just sit the butt down and kick into your hand and stretch for it. Okay. That's enough. You can do that. That's for the beginner. The others keep the butt up, lean forward, and bring that hand on top of the toes. So you're just trying to stretch the thigh. Again, for beginners, butt is on the floor. You're going to kick into that hand instead of pulling it, you're kicking. 
and you're stretching just your arm forward. You're trying to feel the traction in your right shoulder, chest. And the other is trying to get the foot closer towards the hip. You don't have to hurt your knee. Keep your heel really close to the butt. There we go. Inhale, exhale. Push a little bit down more. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Try and get a little bit lower. It should feel stretching on the right thigh. You're doing great. Just kick a little bit more. Kick more into your hand. That's it. With your leg. There we go. And slowly bring it back. Beautiful. Very nice. Now we can all do what Venka did because you all look pitiful. <laughs> so I'm gonna on the other side, I'm just gonna do it. Um, we're, we're gonna do both versions, right? And then he's gonna stay. Okay, so just kick into your hand, please. Maybe your kick is here, you know? It depends on your flexibility. Stretch your left hand forward and it's like an archer whose left shoulder is coming nearly underneath your chin. You know, that's how um, one line your both arms are now. And just keep kicking. And you're going to feel it also in your hip flex on your thigh. This is a, it's a, an, an active stretch more than the passive stretch we did. Kick it. Kick it. More. <laughs> there we go. It looks better now. Okay. So next time we're going to do that first. Okay. Bring your hand. Uh, hands down. Pull your belly in. Push up. Good. Bring your feet down. Okay, we just have to do the other side real quick, right? Okay, <laughs> left leg up. Oh, right. Guys, doing warrior one. Sit low. It's a high posture if you want to do it right. Lengthen your lower spine, please. Lock the right knee and still try to keep the right hip forward. If your knee should ever hurt here, you want to make the step between the feet wider. <clears throat> Yeah, left leg is forward. Exactly, stretch up more. Maybe touch your shoulders even to your ears. And then open to the side. Warrior two, sit low, breathe, chest up. A little lower every exhale. Come on. A little bit more. Stretch your right arm back more. Yes. That's half a warrior now. <laughs> Straighten your leg and stretch it over to the floor. If you cannot touch the floor, totally fine. Just push your back hand against your inner side of the shin bone. Stretch your right arm up. Try not to push the weight into your leg, but push from the inside with the back hand. There we go. No, you are good. You are on, we were first on this side. We're going to turn on the... You're doing great. Look, my belly is towards you. Your belly should be toward me. Yeah. Stretch up. That's it. Looking up. And just keep your legs super tight. Now everyone can turn. So you're making the step a tiny bit closer. Bring your right hand, either backside against the outside of the shin or the right hand onto the floor and the left arm up, up, up. Looking up to the left thumb, breathe, pull your left hip back. Change. Then bring your hands down again. So chest up. Maybe this is it for you if you're a beginner. Locking the knees is already hard. Probably if you are more advanced, you can come down, can even. Flex the foot and you can bring your hands into reverse. Keep your chest forward, you will touch your chin to your shin eventually. One day in the future, pull your belly to your spine. Breathe normally. Okay, and then lean your weight into your left foot and keep your right leg up. So either you stay here. Um, arms forward, like this, or arms on the back, whatever you like, or you grab your elbows, and then bring your left hand down underneath your shoulder, <clears throat> coming a bit back so you can see me better, there we go, 
and then you open the right hip to the ceiling. You can always choose to keep your hand on the hip. That's actually the initial pose. It never was um, an arm stretching before. The Ayanga could see that nobody can do it. So <laughs> he opened his arm. And you can look to the wall or you can look to the ceiling for more advance to your thumb. Keep breathing. And for the advanced students, you can kick into your hand and breathe into your right hip flexor. There we go. Okay. And just bring the right hand down. Get the right knee to the left knee, both knees bending. And then inhale, stretch up. Really use your breath for this. Exhale, bring your knees together. Inhale, lift up. One more time. Down. And up. And maybe, if you want more advanced, grab your ankle. <laughs> Stretching your leg up. Breathe. Change. All right. And then bring your right knee to the outside of the left foot. So you're crossing the leg, right? And then you sit next to the foot. Got it? So you sit like this, wonderful. This is spine twist position. Okay, stretch your chest up. Beginners can just hold the leg, okay? Like this and turn, side. If you're more advanced, you can grab the knee or you can grab the inside of your left foot. Stretching your chest up. And if you are there, you can also grab the inner right thigh. Stretch your chest and twist. Yes. One more time. Chest up. Exhale, twist. Use your breath. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, twist. Change. Good job. Turn your uh, right, your shoulders to the right again, to your chest. And now we're doing the leg breaking on the other side. I'm going to turn around so you can see it better, okay? But basically, I'm just putting this leg back. Got it? I'm going to turn around. <laughs> so my right leg is in front. Don't get confused. And the, and the both knees should be in one line and the heel should be in the middle, right? You got it? And then you lean forward. All the way comes into your hands. Yes. And you, you grab that foot. And now we're just going to do the stretch first, right? We said that. So you sit back on your butt. You kick into your hand. So you feel a nice stretch right here. And you see my upper body is even coming back. That's how much I kick. And you stretch that right arm forward. And you look um, where your middle finger is. <clears throat> Keep stretching forward. And kicking back, switch forward, kick back, switch forward, kick back. Both at the same time. Breathe and enjoy. Smiling helps <laughs> if you want to enjoy. I think it's a little bit too high your arm. You want to, you want to stretch it on shoulder. Yes, shoulder height. Keep kicking. Breathe. There we go. And then. Whenever you're ready, as a beginner, you can stay here or advanced, more advanced people, you can bring your hands in front, get the butt back up, then grab the foot and move the fingers in the same direction as your toes. Okay. And you can push it down with the exhale. Inhale, push your thigh down and exhale, let it go. One more time. And exhale, let it go. Relax your neck. Change. Okay, you're doing so great. Wonderful. Very nice. Then let's get out of there again. Bring your hands down to the floor and come back into this position. Now I think we should do just a little bit more with the hip. Yeah, more good actually. Okay, so. Step to um, the front of the mat, whichever foot you like. So we're just facing the computer, <laughs> the camera, whatever you like, right? 
Okay, so first thing, we're going to stretch the leg a little bit more on the back. So you turn your heels a little bit out and your feet a little bit in. If you have sciatica problems, you want to um, keep it straight. Okay, stretch your chest forward very slowly, slowly, slowly. Come down. And then from the beginning, first, you want to lift your chest and try and get concave, more wet into your toes. So a lot of beginners are always like, I cannot reach. No, it's just because you have the weight in the back. You want to get the weight into the toes. It's really much more <laughs> um, helpful. And then I'm going to turn around so I can see you. You can walk your hands through like this, right? And maybe your head can come to the floor. Now, if you're a beginner, beginner that's not going to happen. Probably. So you just stay here and breathe and try and walk your hands just a tiny bit back, maybe one millimeter every minute, you know. And if your hands are back all the way and your head is on the floor and you have your elbows 90 degree and rectangle, then you can also come into a tripod if you like. If you're not <laughs> jamming against the wall like me. <laughs> You can work your walk way around it. Beginners not doing anything. Just stay down with your feet and try to reach your head towards the floor. Bisschen, ja, bisschen wackelig. Du kannst auch da unten bleiben, wenn du magst. Guck mal, man kann auch in diesem Split bleiben. You know, you can always stay in a, in a split position if you're like insecure or if you like the stretch. Anyway, come back up. And <clears throat> let's just go back up all the way. And then we turn our toes out and exhale, sit low. Right? So bring your right shoulder forward. Relaxing the hip joints. Try and sit low and then bring the left shoulder forward. Doing great. Looks good. Be careful. Your knees turning in, so you want to keep them out. Yes, it's the hard part, <laughs> but you can use your hand, right? You can push it uh, from the thigh, not on the knee. Keep breathing. So you want to relax your lower back in this position. Should be relaxing. There, now you sit and lean backwards. Now, if this pose is really hard for you, you can always go sit, um, stand against the wall. You know, it's still hard <laughs> and lean against the wall. Otherwise, just stay like this. You can always bring your hands onto your thighs. If you are more advanced, you're welcome to just get up with your heels. Maybe bring your hands in front of your chest. Stay low with the hips. You can do it. Straighten your back, lean back, arms out, breathe. Stay. Your toes are turned in a lot. I'm not sure if that's what you want to do or maybe it just looks like that just turn your toes out more yes breathe stay you can do this we're going to stay around one minute maybe you want to uh turn your wrist or something smiling helps i know it does you can push your hands against your thighs again you and lower your heels and you can come back up. Okay, let's just do one for today. Usually we do two. Push your hips forward. Lean back a little. All right. Now you want to back bend. I was prepared for hips a little bit more. Well, let's see. We're going to do one more hip thing. Definitely. <clears throat> it's easy to stagger for you. Uh, different levels. Okay, so you come into Skandasana. Basically, you're leaning to one side, right? So the left knee is bending, in my case, and your heel should be on the floor. If the heel is not touching the floor, come with, uh, back up with your butt until it will touch. And then gently, with your arm pushing against your leg, you can stay wherever you can stay lowest without the heel coming up. Okay, the right foot is flexed but also stretched out. So just flex the toes if you can understand what I'm saying. Push your 
arm against the inner side of your left leg, so the triceps, and then your right arm up, stretch up, just breathe. So here, stretch up. This might be intense if you never do this. If you're doing it, like I'd say, once a week, this is going to ease up, you know? It's going to get much better, less painful. Inhale, right arm up, stretch up. And I say, bring the right hand, arm behind. Now, this is not necessarily for the beginners. Beginners can stay up with their right hand. Um, or you can try grabbing your pants, for example. Something. Or grab your hands if you can. And then you stretch your right shoulder up and breathe. Even if the butt is up, it makes it more exhausting, actually. But it's the right movement. And then bring the right arm back up. And the left tricep is still pushing to the outside. And then beginners, bring your right hand in front of your right calf muscle. It's like even if your butt is up here, it's fine. Just bring it down there. Okay? And then lift up the left arm. So you're just going in the other direction. If you're more proficient, you can sit your butt down and bring the right hand onto your left ankle bone. Uh, just beginners don't listen. <laughs> you do what I said. And then you stretch out your arm over your head. Eventually, you want to stretch all the way until you will touch the back of the head to your chin. Open your left knee a little bit more. Breathe. Kick into your hand. Intercostals opening. Turn your left knee a little bit more out. And change. Okay. Come back up. Wonderful. Everyone come back to the middle and turn to the other side. If you can without your hands, doesn't matter if you have to use them, I don't mind. So again, you bring your head down, you get your butt up and you see if you can keep it down without the knee coming forward. Right hand on the floor. Oopsie. <laughs> Left arm up, stretch up, keep breathing. You're doing great. Wonderful. Uh, just try and get somehow friends with this pose. So breathing, learning to breathe in an uncomfortable position. That is what is teaching you for life, you know? You learn so much from this. So bring your hand in the back. If you can, reach for your pants. Wonderful. If not, you can also stretch it back up again. But you grab your hands if you're more into this. Lift up your left shoulder, look up and stretch up. And then slowly get back out of there and bring your left hand in front of your left calf muscle, even if your butt is up here. Bring it down there. There we go. And then you bring your right arm up. That's for the beginners. You're going to stretch your right arm up, just counter stretch, okay? And the others grab their left, their right ankle, sorry, and stretch the right arm up over the head, eventually touching the foot, maybe one day, you know? If not, this is just the same movement. You want to open the right intercostal muscles. You want to keep the right knee open, so up and back. You can pull a little on the ankle bone. It's going to help you maybe kick into your hand. If you're touching and stretch your chest up and open. And turn back. Wonderful. You did so great. Okay. Now hop back into Malasana. Chest up. Push your elbows against your knees. Knees in to your elbows. So I'm thinking we did Peacock and Bird of Paradise last time. Maybe we can do the other, you know, the crows or something. And the crane, actually. <laughs> That's not a big thing, though. We have to choose. So I'm just going to go for the easiest version. Just come onto your knees. We don't have too much time anymore. So we can bring our hands. In front of you, for the beginners, this is the first thing you do. Um, you're just gonna try, okay? Just try. This is pl playing around like a kid. You don't have to worry about it. Bring your feet behind your hands, behind your wrists, 
and lift your knees up into your armpit. Okay, if this is happening, wonderful. If not, just get them up high, as high as you can. And then you lean your way forward and maybe you can lift up one leg, you know. For those of you who can do crow already, you can, you know, lift up, chest up, even maybe arms straight. And look what you're doing. Good. Nice. Straighten your arms. You can also do baby curl with me. So you bring your elbows down. And this is really just, if you're already good in the other one, you can try this one. Get the feet up to the back and the chest forward. A little bit more strong in the abs. Doing great. And yeah, lean forward more and bend your elbows like me from the beginning. It's a little bit more easier. Yeah. Good, and then maybe lift one foot, just one foot. <laughs> no, but you keep them, <laughs> that's a great idea, but you, you keep them in the, you know, on the, on the arm. Just lift it, one. Yeah, and for the more advanced people, you can just twist your knees to the right. You keep going, it looks good. You can try one more time. My advanced people can bring knees to the side, bring your elbows in onto your thigh and maybe stretch out your legs in both directions or just keep the knees together, whichever it is, you know. If you want to go cycle with the legs in scissors, you want to bring the one on the elbow, go straight and the other one lifts up in the back. Right. You need to get more weight into the front, more weight and bend your elbows, it's easier. You're doing the hard one already. Yeah, get the butt up a little. Good, and then just lift one foot a little bit from the floor. Yeah, 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 that's exactly how you do it. Very good. And then you just try that on the other side again and you try and hold it like maybe five seconds and then maybe 10. Okay, the other is go, knees to the side, bring your elbows onto the side and lift your chest. This is the baby version. There's always the possibility to not get the butt on the elbow and keep the elbow free. A little bit harder. <clears throat> Come on, chest up. Chest up, chest up. Try one more time. So if you want it harder, you can always, you know, keep the butt in the air. Yes, you're doing it. Ah, you fell out of it. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. Doing great. Okay. All right. Well, okay. So, why am I back then, maybe? I'm thinking I would have liked to use a wall. So, if you don't have a wall, you can still do this on the mat and you're just going to do pigeon. If you do have a wall, very quick. It would be more fun with a wall, okay? We did it before. It's, um, it's basically bringing your left knee down. I'm gonna get a pillow. You can have a pillow too. Let's just go real quick. Do a supported back bend. So you're bringing the, um, the left knee on the floor and the shin is on the wall, foot is on the wall. And you bring your right foot forward and you stretch your chest. You know, you can come forward or you can come back against the wall. Doing great. Yes, exactly like that. Beautiful. Now, it's going to be intense on your left thigh, okay? Don't, uh, don't be scared. You can scoot your knee a little bit more back to the wall, like all the way. Yeah. Make it intense. <laughs> For the, for the more advanced students, yeah, okay. And if you are um, okay, you know, comfortable, I shouldn't say, but okay, you can lift your arms and then you can uh, lean your weight forward. Uh, this is probably already intense enough for you and you, you, you don't have to keep your hands up. You can just keep them on the knee if you're a beginner. You're doing great, okay? And the other two, 
and runs people wanted to do a bit when you try and reach for the wall. And your knee can come slightly out there, that's fine, and push against the wall, you know. And maybe you can touch your foot to your head. So you just, this is just hamstring action. You're just come contracting the hamstring. You can do it. Yeah, bring your hands a bit deep. Yeah, there we go. And now bring your foot in. Foot to the head. So this is just for more advanced people. Otherwise, just hold your knee in the front. That's fine. I'll show you the other side. Then great. Okay. Let's do the other side. Right knee on the wall, shin on the wall, right? And the left knee, a left foot in the front, on the floor. Then wonderful. And let's keep your chest up and spine up, and you can stay here or you bring it out. It's a nice stretch on the right thigh. I cannot even get this intense on the floor somewhere. And it's not as exhausting as other lunges can be, right? So if you are uh, okay here, you can come forward with the hip. And you hold your leg like that, or you just keep right away your arms up, up, up. My advanced people, walk your hands back and down. And maybe touch the foot to your head. It's like a wall-assisted pigeon. You need to far away from the wall. It's going to make it harder to have a nice stretch in there. There we go. Now you go with a hip forward more. You can do it. Try one more time. Hands a little bit lower. Now get the foot closer to your head. Just bend the leg. Bend the leg. You can do it. Bend the leg. <laughs> Okay, we have to connect the wires. It's fine. You know, don't don't worry if you you know if your brain doesn't want to do it. It's okay. One day. Next next Sunday maybe. Okay. <laughs> just come to the floor, right where you are. It's fine. Just somewhere in the yoga mat. And for those of you who are not um, Uh, not profession in any headstand. You can just do a little preparation. This is just to get the head down for a moment underneath your heart, okay? You grab in the elbows, you grab your hands, palms tight. You push your elbows into the floor and bring the head in between. There's no magic in that. You can stay like this or with your legs straight like that. You don't have to do anything. There's no, nothing is required, okay? You just stay here. It's fine. Your head is below your heart. Your heart is below your hips. This is what we want. We want some blood flow into your brain. And if you're more proficient, of course, you can lift up. If you are like close to the headstand because you've been trying it for a while, you can always choose to like lift one knee close to the chest and change, alternate the legs one day or even straight up if you want more into like close to being standing then that's um, that's your choice and well if you stand already good for you just relax for a moment breathe try and feel the blood flow towards your brain you shouldn't be stressed out anywhere in your body Like even if you're on your knees, it's still so good for your brain. Like, because we never do it. We're always up. And it's just like a vacuum. Your body has to regulate all the time, the blood flow up. And like make sure brain's not without blood. But if you think about it, it's really hard for the body, you know? So just give it a break sometimes. Okay. And then just turn around. When you're done, come down, turn around, and lay on your back. Just going to do a quick shoulder stand because it's so good for you as well. Stretching of the central nervous system. 
And you bring your legs over your head, your hands are beside your body, pushing the shoulders down, flex your neck. And now if you are going to go up, then grab your hands and we'll get your shoulders together. So try and get your shoulders really close to each other and slowly bring your hands back into your back. Don't turn your head anymore. Just try and lift up your legs at once. If that's not happening, maybe knees onto your forehead is happening. You can try. And wow, that's good. You're doing great. Yeah. So you want to you make sure the weight is not on your neck. It is supposed to be on the shoulders. Now, I'm able to turn my head, which you shouldn't do, but I'm able to because I don't have the weight on my shoulders. Uh, sorry, I don't have it on my neck. I have it in my shoulders, and that's why it's working. Okay, so you straighten your arms if you like. And if you're more advanced, keep your legs up. Keep breathing. If you like, you can stay up there. I have to kind of finish. If you want to come down with me, that's fine. Push your ears away. I would like to go on and on, but unfortunately our hour is over. Bring your knees in real quick for a moment. If you can, grab your heels, bring your knees onto your upper arms. If this is not touching yet, you can bring your fists underneath your knees. Whichever makes it comfortable, try and relax your neck and your shoulders. And very slowly, vertebra by vertebra, you go back. Your spine is going slowly back, back, back to the ground. You can hold your legs if you like. And then you straighten your legs one by one on the floor. And relax. That's really important you understand that this can feel intense when you don't do it often. Shoulders then is also even, um, even though most of us did it like in school or something when we were kids, it can be so hard on your shoulders when you are living a life with tight shoulders. So what's happening is you're compressing the blood flow. It's good when it comes back. It's taking a lot of stuff with it that doesn't belong there. A lot of charge for your muscles that sickness and they have to cramp. You don't have to do that in your shoulders, obviously. We want to have relaxed shoulders. So that, that's how you get a relaxed shoulder. It's going to feel uncomfortable in the beginning, okay? Just breathe. For a moment, accept it and trust that it will go away. It will go away. And stay relaxed for just a moment. Thanks for coming. Happy Sunday, everyone.